Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. As you can see in the title down below, we're going to be talking about how to make, motivate ourselves when we're having a really, really bad day. So this could mean when you wake up in the morning and you can already feel that it's gonna be a bad day. You don't know that it's gonna be a bad day, but you wake up in a terrible mood and you know that, you know what, no matter what I do, today's just gonna be a bad day. So this video is five steps that you can take that will motivate you and help your day just be a little bit, a little bit much more better. So if you'd like to see this video, then you know what to do. Please do keep watching. So the first thing for me, first thing, number one, is when you realize that you're having a bad day or when you sort of, when you can feel it in your system that today is not going to be a good day, be gentle with yourself and take baby steps. Baby steps are so, so, so important to help you get through a bad day because we often want to rush into everything. We often want to run before we can walk and we want to uh, walk before we can crawl, that kind of thing. And it doesn't quite make sense. Martin Luther King said that. There's a quote belonging to Martin Luther King where he speaks about not being able to um, run before you can walk and that kind of thing. But honestly, the most important thing for me is to take baby steps. Acknowledge that you are having a bad morning or a bad day, but take things a lot more slowly than you typically would. So be cognizant of what you are going through, acknowledge it, take it in, but at the same time, be aware of what you're doing. So don't rush into anything. Don't try and get things done as quickly as you can because you're just having this terrible day and what have you. Just take it a minute if not a second, if not a millisecond at a time. So do things at a much slower pace than you typically would. It makes things a little bit easier in terms of getting through your day without making your mood a lot more worse. The next point that I'd like to mention is I know one thing that I do when I'm having a really bad day that actually aids in making the day a little bit better eat something nice. Prepare yourself a really, really nice breakfast. So instead of having your normal oats or whatever, just put a little bit more attention to detail with your breakfast. So don't have oats that morning. Instead, have avocado on toast or have a really, really nice breakfast sandwich or a breakfast bagel. Have something that you know will sort of like open up your mood and open up your, uh, not only appetite, but open up your mood as well. Because um, I know a lot of people tend to uh, rely on food, especially when they're having a bad day, we tend to eat a lot more because when you do eat a lot more, it releases those, uh, is it endorphins, if I'm not mistaken, that make you feel a little bit better. Yes, you're gonna feel trash at the end of the day if you're having bad food. That's why make sure that when you start off your breakfast, you have a breakfast that'll brighten up your mood. So eggs is usually a good idea, sunny side up, okay? <laughs> Do you see what I did there? Eggs is usually a good idea. Or you can just pretty much have a breakfast that you know you will love and not a mundane, boring breakfast. So yeah, tip number two, eat really, really well. Eat really, really well. Tip number three, and this is something that we often forget quite a lot, is to breathe. Take deep and long breaths. Be aware of the fact that you're taking a deep and a long breath because a lot of the time we tend to forget that oh you know what i'm having a bad day you just want to move on and do things and get on with it and what have you but at the end of the day sometimes it is a very very good idea to just breathe and take moments where you just sit and you do nothing even if you know you're at work and you need to get shit done Take a walk to the kitchen, prepare your coffee, be aware that you're preparing your coffee, actually put more effort into what you're doing, as mundane as the task may be. But while you're doing that, breathe, take long deep breaths, I'm gonna be okay. Tell yourself, have a mantra of what you can say to yourself that'll make you feel better. I'm gonna be okay, it's just a day. It's not my life, it's just a day. Like I always say to myself, it's just a day. It's one day out of the the whole of my life. I'm pretty sure that I can get through it. And the only way to help you, aid you in getting through it at a more relaxed pace is breathing. So this goes along with your baby steps as well, doing things very, very slowly at a slower pace than you would and being more cognizant of what you're doing, but also taking deep breaths in between and just having moments where you can just back off a little bit and just 
another point that I want to mention is to be passionate about whatever it is that you're doing. That's why when I'm talking about eating, making sure you make yourself a really nice breakfast or um, uh, taking baby steps, but be passionate and be aware of what you're doing. Be aware of why you're doing it in the first place. So if you're at work and you know you're having a bad day, but you're working on a project that you really, really enjoy and you're excited about, be extra passionate about it on that day. Focus on it, drive yourself into it, drive yourself towards it because it is one of the quickest ways in which you can make your day a little bit more better, a little bit more um, easier for you to handle without acknowledging the fact that you woke up in a really, really bad mood while the sun, hey, but you woke up in a really, really bad mood and you want to just sort of make your day a little bit better. So it is a really, really good idea to actually be passionate about what you're doing on that day whatever it is that you're getting up to on that day be passionate about it put a little bit more effort into it and yeah just 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 focus on it a lot more than you typically would and it will aid in making your day a little bit better i promise i'm not even lying right now i promise you <laughs> And then for me, the last thing is definitely fake it till you make it. it. Honestly, this phrase is not a lie. You fake it till you make it. You tell yourself that, you know what? No one will see that I'm having a bad day, okay? No one is going to see. You go a little bit, you spend a little bit of extra time on your makeup. You put in a little bit of extra eyeshadow, go heavy on the concealer because you're in a bad mood, you're probably stressed out or what have you, and you got bags under your eyes, go a little bit extra on the concealer, Fake it till you make it. Put in a little bit of perfume. Put on a smile on your face even though you know you're having the worst of worst days. You know how you feel on the inside but people don't know how you feel on the outside. So what you can do is definitely try to fake it till you make it and I promise you it makes the day a little bit more better. So take baby steps. Fake it till you make it. Eat something that you know you will love. Drive yourself into something. Be passionate about it. And I promise you, it'll make things a little bit more better. So these are four or five, okay, four or five <laughs> easy steps that I would suggest that you do to make, motivate yourself a little bit more when you're having a bad day. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one. Until then, take care. Please subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe, to subscribe, and join the JK family and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.